half dozen two high demerit restaurants plus four imminent health hazard closures. Well, here's Chief Investigator Darcy Spears with rats, roaches and repeat offenders. King and I Thai cuisine on Tropicana and Maryland Parkway is a dirty dining three-peat offender, but none of it happened on Joe Sunkami's watch. I just moved here uh, second year and it's never happened. So it's like my first time experience. King and I was shut down August 28th for a rat infestation that contaminated some food. As my experience, it's happened every, every restaurant, you know, soon or later. Health inspectors found rat droppings on the microwave shelf, make table, food containers, cans, near bags of noodles, and on the floor throughout the kitchen. Rats had also gnawed on a container of baking soda. But I check every day, I, I, I couldn't see the rat, you know, and I, I don't know where they came from. Other violations included dirty, greasy walls, expired peanut sauce and half and half, a dish machine that wasn't sanitizing, and black buildup on cutting boards. There were also multiple plates and bowls stored as clean on the cook line that had dead flies and debris. Plus, there was a food handler preparing raw chicken on a table in the dining room, which is not sanitary. Oh. Actually, yes, I explained we, we are a couple and only us that day. He says she needed to keep an eye on the front door while he was in the back. You know she can't do that, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, she yeah. know, yeah. They had to undergo a deep cleaning and intervention training with the health district before reopening with a zero demerit A on August 31st. So once we have, we file a problem, then we, I just take action the same day. That's why we, we take only three days to finish everything. Joe is carrying on the legacy of his brother, a beloved and famous Hollywood chef who passed away last year. He hopes diners will give them another chance, emphasizing his unique family recipes from Thailand. Specialty is curry. We are house of curry. We have more than 12 wow. curry to Thai, yes. Well, hopefully you guys rebound from this and keep your A and people will be able to come Absolutely. and sample your food. Have to, yes, have to. Another repeat offender is China Star on Maryland Parkway in Sahara. It was shut down August 29th for a multi-generational German cockroach infestation, the same reason they were on dirty dining a year ago. There were roaches and roach feces in multiple locations around the restaurant. Inspectors also saw a food handler touch ready-to-eat cooked chicken with bare hands multiple times. Two half gallons of heavy cream were nearly three weeks expired, and there was heavy food debris and grease buildup in multiple areas. China Star was back to a three demerit A on September 4th. The manager did not want to comment. The highest demerits this week were at Bonsai Sushi Burrito on Lake Mead in Tanea. They've only been open eight months, but already got a 39 demerit C grade. On August 31st, inspectors found expired crab meat and tofu that had expired nearly two weeks before inspection day. Trays of tempura crisps from the day before were left uncovered. There was mold in the ice chest cooler and excessive food debris and buildup underneath food equipment. The owner says they made some fixes before before the inspector even left and are finishing other repairs and cleaning, doing better now than ever before. But wait, there's more, three more restaurants in fact. To find out where inspectors found a dead insect in a clean pan of cooking oil and what barbecue joint was shut down for good, head to our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.